trip to the dietitian is complete and good news let's have thumbs up all around I never ask for thumbs ups on this channel we need likes for this though he's put on a pound which might not seem like a big deal especially when he's in a family where we put on a pound having lunch but for him it's a big deal that he's put on a pound and um, they've been put we put they put him on the vitamin supplements last time we were in they tried him on these vitamin enriched calorie enriched milkshakes which didn't work at all he wouldn't take them he was just retching when he, whenever we offered them to him but they've put him on this vitamin powder stuff that he has in his custard and um, it seems to be working he's still on a very very limited diet but the dietitian was really happy to the point where she was on the verge of discharging us from her services um, until we raised the issue that he's still not really having any protein and we'd like to come up with a way to get more protein into him because um, we had to switch him off of the normal ambrosia custard that he was having because his trump smelt really bad so we put him on to um, Alpro almond based custard stuff um, which she was a little bit iffy about because apparently it's got slightly less protein slightly more estrogen which isn't ideal for him but in the end she had a look at some alternative options and decided it was it was probably fine so he's still having that with Hi. the vitamins mixed in hello film it yeah he's um there up there as you can see anna's wearing a different holo shirt today so she's going to keep wearing them until they start sending them to her for free no he's put on a pound that's really positive she seemed fairly happy with what he was eating she, uh, it's quite nice to have a professional involved in this who's a little bit more realistic about her expectations because we said is that have you got like a, a miracle method for getting him to start eating steak and chips or just some vegetables or something and her response was just no you know as long as his weight is at a level that we're all comfortable with which it is he's back onto his percentile that he's been on all his life now he's like 22nd percentile if that means anything to people who know about these kind of things um which is where he's been for the last 10 12 years so it's not it, it's underweight if you look at him in terms of bmi but for him it's a fairly natural weight for him to be at and he dipped well below that earlier in the year which is when we were all really concerned about his eating but his daily diet now um still on the salt and vinegar walker's crisps by the way if you want to buy yourself some of those that might be handy they've got a marketing campaign on at the moment which we're not that worried about because it's a, a choose me or lose me campaign from walkers which obviously they're not going to stop doing salt and vinegar but the campaign says they've got uh, the green crisps from this country plus a popular green crisp from elsewhere in the world and the one they've got is lime and pepper which apparently is the is the popular green choice in australia if you're in australia let me know surely green crisps are still just salt and vinegar aren't they and this is just an extra flavor but walkers tell us not and whichever one sells most over a certain period of time will be the one that's green going forward they're not going to stop doing salt and vinegar anyway but why not add into a walkers marketing campaign you never know they might watch this think oh he just did some great marketing for us let's send him a whole load of free crisps and that would be the biggest financial difference maker anyone could ever make to us if we could get his crisps for free because at the moment we spend about 30 pounds a week something like a walkers crisps for him so it'd be quite nice if we could reduce that load that wasn't supposed to turn into marketing so he has the crisps probably 12 to, between 12 and 18 packets of crisps a day which in itself, I mean, it seems like a lot. It's a lot of calories. I don't know how he's only put a pound. If I had 18 bags of crisps a day, I'd be just like a blob in a chair in no time. I think Anna can hear me from all the way over there because she's giggling at the right moments. Uh, in addition to that, he's still on the Rice Krispies. Probably three or four boxes of Rice Krispies over the course of a week with two big cartons of Alpro protein, not protein, Alpro lactose free custard i always get lactose and gluten free the wrong way around i think i mean lactose free i don't really know which is which it's all a bit of a hippie fad anyway isn't it that one is just for anna because she's one of them and i don't again she can't have milk whichever one that is and then he started having potato waffles again probably i don't know five six of those a day so plus the caffeine free diet coke so he's eating more now than he has been for a long time he looks like he's filling out a little bit which is good and with the vitamin supplement still on the, on the custard, he just seems healthier. It, it, regardless of the fact that he's got the medicine in him as well now, he just seems healthier, which is really, really cool. And all a step in the right direction. So all we're gonna be, we've got one more 
session with the dietitian now. She said we can probably finish here if you want or do you want one more? So we're having one more just to see if there's anything we can do about the protein. So she suggested a different lactose free custard option that has a little bit more protein in. Plus she's going to sort out some protein powder that we can try and add to the custard. If he likes it, it might make a difference. If he doesn't then we're going to kind of accept that as long as he keeps eating what he's eating now and continues to maintain that 22nd percentile then we're all just going to be happy and leave it at that and focus on other more important things so we're back with the dietitian again in october and fingers crossed by then he'll be i mean i guess if he's going to start having protein he's going to look like the rock by christmas which that'd be interesting i wonder if he'll sit for a tattoo hold on i need to do like a vlogger shot there you go this is what proper vloggers do isn't it weird shots like this this doesn't look weird in public. Can you even see me? I feel like it's really dark in the background. And now Andy's sitting on my back. Excellent, I've become a chair. I can't speak at this angle. How do people sit like this? This is horrible, my back hurts. What I was trying to say, there you go, that's, look at that. If you're, if you're also a vlogger watching this, this is groundbreaking. But look, it's possible to just sit like a normal person and talk into a camera. That's, that's noteworthy for some of you. We did have a few fun and games getting here, which was nice. Um, Grantham City Council, County Council, Town Council, Lincolnshire County Council, whatever council you are, I'm going to tag you all in this, don't worry. If you're going to close the road outside the hospital, bear in mind it's where Grantham A&E is, I think. If you're going to close that road, set up a diversion, because we were supposed to be there at half ten, we eventually got there at about eleven o'clock. The first four routes that Google Maps made available to us all hit us into this road that was closed. We ended up having to sit there with a map, like we were from the 70s, working out what route we'd have to go in, and then mixed it with some actual modern stuff as well, and plotted a route that took us into the centre of Grantham and then back out again, and we eventually did get there, but Grantham, just set up a diversion, because that was silly. Obviously as well, because we are in Grantham, we're now sitting waiting for the bells. What time is it? Four minutes. Then. Four minutes until the bells, and then apparently we're going pyjama shopping. Three minutes. There we go. And he's going back inside apparently. And then we get to go pyjama shopping. Big thank you as well to everybody who's already replied to... My phone's ringing. Goodness me, it's Anna. Hello. Outside the church. I will be on my way. Apparently there's a place around the side here where I can film what they're up to. Something to do with CD-ROM. I don't know if there's a time machine in there and they still use CD-ROMs for something. Perhaps this is Anna telling me. Hello again. Hello again. No, I think that was just her boob dialing me. If I even come round the right way, you should come round to where the other gate is. There's a window that you can film through. Well, the other gate's here. I'm moving away from the church sure I'll find a way back in. But what I was saying is a big thank you to those of you who've already replied to yesterday's vlog about plans for the future of the channel, how we can make the videos a little bit more consistent in terms of quality, what kind of regular content we can include, 
it is really helpful. Just kicked a can. It's really helpful, those of you who've already given that feedback. I know there's some people who only watch the good videos, they don't have a green screen in the thumbnail. So, if you are one of those people and you want to have your say, go back and watch yesterday's video. It's one of the ones with the boring thumbnail. But it is going to be a good opportunity to, even if you don't watch the video, go into the comments of that video and let us know what changes you'd make to the channel. Because change is afoot, everybody. I don't know where this window is, by the way. Reckon she knows what that looked like she was doing. Oh, hang on. I wonder who this might be. Boob dial again. Goodness me. Right, let's FaceTime her so we can see what's going on. She's mouthing away to me. I don't know what she's saying. Hello. You know we don't know what you're saying. There's a service going on. There's a service going on and he's sat there on a computer looking at bells. Excellent. Hello, people in the service. Guess that's them leaving. I'll go back round the front to where they are. I think there's like a computer in the corner that's got some interactive thing to do with the bells. I don't know why she didn't ask me to come into the church and film it properly. I'm over my bursting into flames thing now. Happy? Yes. Splendid. Great, okay. I mean, that's like properly, properly noteworthy. Andy, what you got? There we go. If you're wondering what's happening here, there's this YouTuber that he watches, I forget his name, I'll link to him down in the description though, who, all he does is he goes around lifts all around America with a little train called Diesel Doocy, and he takes the little train into the lift and then films the train in the lift, going up and down in the lift, describes what's going on in the lift. And he's been watching him for years. Recently though, the obsession is strong. He's got his little train that he calls Diesel Doocy, and this is what he now role plays it when he's in the lift, whenever he's with us. Which is cool, bit of role play. Um, and now we're, we're you want to see Jimmy Jones. buying pajamas. <laughs> what are these things at the top here? I've not seen these before. Little, you guys on little, are they little metal figures or little plastic figures? They've got DC, they've got Marvel, they've got Spider Man one that even has Spider Gwen in. Have you ever seen Spider Gwen in Asda before? Mar Guardians of the Galaxy, Harry Potter, Star Wars. Nine quid. They're pretty cool. I like them. Might have to investigate and see if that's something that we want a new collection of. Um, now he's changed, so I have the yellow one, he has the green one. <laughs> what pyjamas did he get? That's what everyone really needs to know. Very, very plain ones, because he doesn't like things. Let's see. Close my legs up like that. Here we are ground floor. Here we are at ground floor. And and there we go. And and that's it for now. Bye. Bye. And that's it. Bye. 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 Yeah. What he said. <laughs>